Today's standard for memory when it comes to building a gaming PC is pretty straightforward. All you really need for a good gaming experience is good DDR4 16GB kit with the frequency being clocked around 3200MHz to get your system up and running. With PC hardware always changing and new products starting to ship out like Ryzen's new 7000 series processors later this year and Intel's current Alder Lake CPUs will all eventually have to switch over to the newer generation of components when considering newer hardware for our next build. Which brings us to the topic and discussion of today's video of DDR5 memory. Today we will take a look at what it has to offer over DDR4 and why you shouldn't buy DDR5 memory. Let's take a look. For starters, DDR5 has gone under some new design changes from DDR4 which means in most cases a newer motherboard that supports it. DDR5 now features a new design in which the notches on the RAM sticks themselves are not compatible with DDR4 memory motherboards making backwards compatibility irrelevant. DDR5 now utilizes the motherboard controller to now basically uncap its memory bandwidth and provide higher transfer speeds compared to DDR4. Simply put it, if you have your current system with DDR4 and want to make the switch, you will also be needing a newer motherboard that supports DDR5 memory as well. But alright, let's go ahead and say you do want to switch over to DDR5 memory and you have a motherboard that supports it. Well, that's where we run into our second problem in which DDR5 memory is super hard and nearly impossible to get your hands on right now. DDR5 memory when it comes to availability is even worse than highly sought after graphics cards like the RTX 3080 and 3070, and we all know that this problem has been persisting for almost a year and a half now. Even if you wanted to go out and buy a brand new set of DDR5 memory from your local micro center or computer shop, there is almost no chance it will be in stock for you to buy for your next build. Simply put it, that DDR5 memory and how new it is is still very hard to get your hands on and it looks like it won't be changing anytime soon. Now knowing DDR5 is nearly impossible to find, having to spend potentially more money on newer components like newer motherboards and a newer CPU platform, you will still have to fork out a good amount of cash if you still want DDR5 memory. Which brings us next to the price. Right now, DDR5 is extremely expensive with kits of 16 or 32 gigabytes of DDR5 generally priced around 300 to 400 US dollars for some of these kits. This trend will be for almost every top brand out there like G-Skill, Corsair, XPG and all other brands who also offer DDR5 as well. In short, this stuff isn't cheap and it's going to cost you a lot more than just going with a good kit of DDR4 memory instead. But alright then, maybe the reason it's so hard to find and expensive is because of its performance, right? Well, that's not really the case either. If we are talking price to performance for DDR5 versus DDR4, you are really only seeing up to about 20% more performance for about 5 times more of the cost. And even with that 20% performance boost of DDR5, it really only benefits people who use high memory intensive workloads and applications. When comparing DDR4 and DDR5 side by side, the charts look pretty similar and pretty close to performance outside some applications that are memory demanding. Even demanding workloads like 4K video editing and rendering is seen only a small increase to render times with DDR5 installed. But when comparing DDR4 and DDR5 memory for gaming performance, however, is a completely different story. And almost every title tested by the community and those who have this highly expensive memory, you are only going to be seeing about a 5 to 15% FPS increase in almost every case with a few titles reaching that 20% increase in FPS. So overall, the performance gap between DDR4 and DDR5 for casual gamers and content creation is only subpar. So the question is, should you buy DDR5? Well, the simple answer here is a definite no. However, if you are a kind of person who needs the extra horsepower for memory demanding applications, or maybe you want the best of the best and just have tons of extra cash to throw at your next build, DDR5 is an easy choice for you to pick up then. But for the average gamer and PC enthusiast building their next PC build, DDR5 is something I would recommend you don't invest in as it's still pretty new and impossible to find, it's super expensive, and only offers about 20% more performance in some case scenarios as well. Overall, if you're looking into buying new RAM for your next build, just get DDR4 instead, don't buy DDR5. With everything said, thank you all for watching the video, and what do you guys think? Is DDR5 a waste of money, or something that we should invest in sooner? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.